Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about how we can tune the hyperparameters of our model. So what are hyperparameters? Hyperparameters are uh, the parameters which control the behavior of the training algorithm and the structure of the model. So unlike model parameters which are learned from the training data during the training process, hyperparameters uh, are generally not learned directly from the data. Instead, they need to be specified beforehand before the training process begins and can significantly affect the performance of the model. Uh, so for that, what uh, we need to do is we need to import uh, all these libraries again, Torch, the Geometric, RDKit, uh, Optuna. Uh, we will be using Optuna for hyperparameter tuning and Torch, Geometric and RDKit for generating our data and model training. So once these have been installed, let's go ahead and import um, other uh, libraries and modules from Torch, Geometric and Optuna. This is the same seed we uh, which we have set before so i'm keeping this constant next i am loading this uh, final data set which contained 4192 molecules and in the next uh, lines of code i'm generating uh, graphical data in the form of a, a list so let's go ahead and do that next i am just defining training and test size and now this is the uh, most important part of hyperparameter tuning using Optuna. So uh, what we need to define is an objective function and we need to wrap all, all of our content inside this objective function. Uh, these are the uh, parameters which we need to uh, tune. So learning rate, weight decay and mm, we are basically providing here the range of values which we want to check the model performance so uh, basically mm, learning rate we want to check between 10 raised to the power minus 5 to 10 raised to the power minus 1 uh, you can also uh, log transform this if you want i am just keeping this one false weight decay which is another hyperparameter uh, mm, we are screening uh, between 10 raised to the power minus 6 to 10 raised to the power minus 3 drop out between 0 to 0.5 you can also provide a step size so uh, it will abstract the values with the increment of 0 0.1 so 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0.5 a number of layers now this is integers so uh, it would be 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 hidden channels uh, would be with a step size of 32 so uh, it is between 32 and 192 so 32 64 128 uh, stuff like that you can also uh, optimize your optimizer uh, if you remember we use the adam optimizer you can use adam rms prop and sgd but uh, uh, i am not uh, doing that in this tutorial so if you want you can just uncomment this one out and yeah, finally we have a batch size uh, again it is an integer and with a step size of 16 between 16 and 128 so 16 32 64 uh, 120 stuff like that so these are the values uh, among us which uh, the uh, optuna would screen the hyperparameters so this is again uh, splitting the data set into training and test subsets and here uh, I'm not providing a batch size because this is a hyperparameter and we, we are tuning that. We have already defined this variable up here, batch size, right? So we, we are just keeping it as batch size. And uh, again, this is uh, just uh, the code to check if the GPU is available and uses it if it's possible. Otherwise, it will default to CPU. Now, uh, in the model here, these things are fixed in channels and edge dimensions as we talked about in the previous video and these are the uh, hyperparameters so we have defined hidden uh, channels a uh, number of layers drop out up here so we don't we don't need to provide any uh, number here because these are the variables and optimizer like i said you if you want you can screen this but uh, for this uh, video i am just keeping it as an atom optimizer but i am uh, varying the learning rate and weight decay which we have defined up here learning rate and weight decay 
so uh, so all these things are wrapped inside an objective function and the training and uh, test functions as well they are wrapped inside the objective function and this is the same um, training function which we have used before for training uh, data and this is the test function or evaluation function which we have used before so i'm just keeping them uh, the same there there are no changes uh, and uh, this is the training uh, loop here uh, if you remember uh, we last time we used 50 epochs this time i'm using 75 you can take 100 as well this line of code would return the train root mean square error and this this would return the test root mean square error and in here the code trains the model for 75 epochs and reports the test root mean square error uh, to the optuna at each epoch and check if the trial should be pruned based on the reported intermediate values so this is another great function of optuna which is that it uh, prunes the trial so if a particular trial is not looking very promising uh, it would be terminated early to save the time and i will show you during our uh, training process and in the uh, end um, after the training the final uh, test root mean square error is returned as the objective value for the optuna to use in the hyperparameter optimization process so uh, yeah this was all about the objective function uh, so let's run this now you can start the hyperparameter tuning with just two lines of code here uh, so this these two lines of code uh, are used to create study and optimize the hyperparameters of the model defined in the objective function uh, so let's uh, go through it one by one here uh, we have optuna dot create study so this function initializes a new optuna study which is the main object for running the optimization and direction is minimized so basically we have test root mean square error uh, as our as our objective so we uh, want to minimize this if let's say you you have r square you want you want to maximize that but in here we are using root mean square error and we want to minimize that this is just the study name you can give any random name and this specifies the storage location for the studies data here it uses sqlite a lightweight da database with the file name htune underscore afp afp stand for um, attentive fp and you can just give any name here but the extension should be dot db um, so basically this allows the study's progress and results to be saved enabling resumption or further analysis later and then we just uh, run this line of code study dot optimize with objective function in here and number of trials and again uh, basically if 100 trials means it will do a hundred uh, uh, permutation and combination of all these uh, hyperparameters uh, randomly so you can give 200 you can give 500 if you want but just uh, for this tutorial purpose i am giving 100 trials and if you run this so before i run this i just want to mention here just few more things this is just for printing at the end of the study uh, we want to see our uh, best parameters so best parameters can be provided by study dot best underscore params and we will print these out and uh, we will also get information about prune trials completed trials so study statistics number of finished trials would be study dot trials number of prune trials or terminated trials would be uh, length of prune trials which we have defined here and number of completed trials is uh, length of the completed trials which we have defined here so uh, yeah all these uh, information will be printed out at the end of the study so just to run the study i can uh, run this line of code here now as you can see here a new study uh, created in rdb with the name hyperparameter tune afp now you saw in the previous video it generally takes a long time to train uh, on cpu so mm, since we are uh, doing 100 trials and we are also uh, running for 75 epochs uh, it will take a long time if we just uh, let it run on google collab so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to uh, a machine with a GPU support available so that uh, we can do it in a faster manner. So I am currently on a workstation with GPU support and what I'm doing is seeding into uh, the folder which houses all my files. So pytorch underscore lipo underscore optuna dot py is the file that we want to run. So let's open this in VS code. And 
and this is pretty much the same uh, code that I have just shown you in Google Colab. So it just has dot py extension and we are gonna be running this in here. Uh, we are gonna be running it for 75 epochs and 100 trials. So let's activate the environment first which houses all the libraries and then uh, python and the name of the file so it has started running as you can see a new study created in rdb with name hyperparameter tune afp so uh, let's uh, wait and once the first trial is uh, finished then i will show you how the results look like so as you can see here trial zero finished with value 1.149 so this is the root mean square error for the test and uh, these are all the parameters here so every time uh, it uh, runs a trial it will give you the best trial number with the root mean square error now it has finished uh, all the hundred trials and it has taken us uh, a little more than two hours so let's go up there as you can see this was the trial zero with 1.149 root mean square error as i showed before with these parameters and as we are coming down you can see there are some trials which have been pruned or terminated uh, and this is the great feature of optuna that uh, if the results are off the uh, trials get uh, pruned and uh, if we keep uh, going down at the end uh, you can see uh, best trial is 85 with root mean square error of 0 0.607 so i think this is just uh, amazing results initially we had 0 0.713 uh, and these are the uh, parameters with number of layer 6 hidden channel 64 batch size 96 previously we had batch size of 32 and number of layers 4 uh, hidden channels were the same uh, dropout has also decreased to zero and learning rate and weight decay is also uh, different so 100 trials 75 room and only 25 trials were completed with a root mean square value of 0 0.607 and uh, yeah so what we are gonna do next is we are gonna be taking these parameters ahead for uh, model training again and then we will evaluate so we are again on the Google Colab notebook and our study stored in htune underscore afp dot db database. And what we are going to do here is that load this study in Google Colab. So optuna dot load study and study name is same as we have given before hyperparameter tune afp and then the name of the storage which is htune underscore afp dot db. So while we uh, uh, hyperparameter tuned on the workstation uh, this was stored htune underscore afp so we have ran this and now um, our uh, parameters can be extracted from this study so best underscore params would give us the best parameters so length of study dot trials would give us the um, number of studies that were done uh, next uh, length of pruned underscore trials which uh, we have uh, defined uh, before would give us the number of prone trials and completed trials length would give us the length of completed trials and best underscore trial would give us the best trial uh, let's run this and so these are the best hyperparameters which we saw before number of finished trial 100 prone trial 75 completed trials 25 
uh, our root mean square error for test is 0 0.607 for best trial and all these are the hyperparameters. So in the coming videos we are gonna be using these hyperparameters to train model again and evaluate the model again and then we will do some post hoc analysis and we are also gonna be doing some cross validation. So uh, that's it for uh, this video. Thank you for watching.